Today, we are going to be naming the formula for the ionic compound copper 2 iodide. So in this case, let's find out where these elements are on the periodic table, and then we'll take it from there. So we have copper, right? And if I scan the periodic table, copper is somewhere over here, right? Copper is represented by a Cu. So I'll write down Cu. But the thing is that with elements that are in this box, these are transition metals. So transition metals, they will have different charges. What charge are we going to use for copper? That's why there's a Roman numeral here. The Roman numeral always tells you the charge of the metal. In this case, it's a 2. So I will put a copper plus 2. I know that it's a plus and not a negative because metals always have positive charges. The next element I see is I have iodide, right? It's an I-D-E ending, so I know that it's going to be a nonmetal, right? And this came from iodine, right? Iodine turns into iodide when you're naming it. And if I scan the periodic table, iodine is all the way down here. It's represented by an I, and it's a halogen. It's in group 7A or 17, and it's a negative 1 oxidation state. So I'm just going to write down that I have I, and it's a negative 1 charge. Now since I have both elements in both oxidation states or the charges, we're going to just crisscross them just to see what, uh, how many of each we have. So this plus 2 crisscrosses down, telling me that I need 2 iodines, and this negative 1 crisscrosses down, telling me that I just need 1 copper. When you do your crisscross, don't worry about plus and minus, just write down the number, okay? Just makes it easier. Now we're just ready to write the compound. So we have Cu. There's only one of them, so I don't have to write the one. So next is iodine. And I have two of them, so I just write two. And then you're done, guys. You don't worry about the charges up top, OK? So copper 2 iodide is CuI2. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, all right? Good luck on your future tests and quizzes. I'm rooting for you guys. Let's keep studying hard. You guys have been awesome throughout this whole journey, and I'll see you in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.